The economy is starting to see its first massive layoffs, including at tech companies like Meta, Twitter, Amazon, and now the Canadian real estate industry disruptor properly. And I'm going to talk about that in today's episode of... Who needs to make profits when you have infinite growth? But before we start, my name is Steve and I make educational real estate videos like this one focusing on the Canadian real estate market. So if you'd like to join a community of others trying to keep up to date on the market, please subscribe and please click the like button because that is the best way you can help me grow this community after you joined it yourself. And if you're looking for personalized advice in my market of Surrey and the Fraser Valley, go ahead and book a one on one call with me right now using the link in the description below. And now on to this news article about properly laying off 37% of its staff. If you're unaware, properly is a real estate brokerage who have a very interesting business model. Basically what they do is they offer a guaranteed sale price for your home and then let you purchase your next home before selling, removing a major pain point for most sellers because the biggest objection we ever hear from anyone that wants to move is, but where would I go? I don't wanna be homeless. And properly, to their credit, through their innovative business model, fixes that issue. Now there is some debate in the industry about what the customer actually ends up netting in their transaction. And that yes, it's likely more expensive than selling with a traditional real estate brokerage. However, that is their choice as the homeowner. And I think it's a great thing that the owner can sell in the way that they choose for whatever fee or structure they would like to pay. But now it appears that maybe this model only works when times are good and that guarantee sales models are not designed to be used in markets with falling prices like the one we are currently in. Now, properly, the brokerage is technically a competitor of mine, so I'm not going to go any more in depth into their business model and whether I think it's a good thing or a bad thing. But what I will do for you is link both their website and the related article that I found talking about the layoffs down below so you can read for yourself. But the one thing I do want to reinforce in today's video is that, well, Companies that can only do really well because of market conditions, whether they be good or bad, they better be good enough to get through the bad ones. We've seen disruptors in our market before and continuously they just don't seem to do as well as previously established brands. Real estate companies like Remax, Royal LePage, and yes, even my company of McDonald Realty, an independent local brokerage that's been around since the 1940s, they tend to be able to weather the storm. But this isn't just limited to companies. Recent government policies like the new BC cooling off period and even the removal of rental restrictions, they all result of decisions being made because of market conditions. And what they don't do is take into account the overall goals of the real estate buyers and sellers. And that is to deal with a purchase and sale in any market environment. This is why I don't think that real estate agents as we know them today are in harm's way of being replaced by an algorithm or a big corporation like what Uber did with taxis. In fact, it's times like these that reinforce why the protections that all the real estate agents, brokerages and associations fight for are so important because they know it takes an army of trained professionals to understand the wants and needs of their clients and to stand up for not only the rights of their clients, but also what's right for the market and the system that protects everyone involved, including buyers, sellers, all homeowners, and yes, even the data and organizations. Yes, I do admit that the system that we have in place is not a perfect one. And the industry is always trying its best to provide even better experiences to hopefully win market share. And even though I don't always agree with them, the regulators are doing their best as well. And time and time again, when markets go bad, we start to understand that no big tech or Apple of the real estate world is here to help you solve your problems. And it's in times like this that we will continue to engage with trusted long-term brands that have honest and knowledgeable long-term agents working under their umbrellas. And remember that if you yourself need advice here in my market of Surrey and the Fraser Valley, well, you can go ahead and book a call with me right now so we can talk about you making your next move. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking the like button and we'll see you in a couple of days.